All right, so this is the view that we are working with as they have started work. So as you would imagine, um, our working schedule has basically turned upside down um, because we are 15 hours behind Singapore. So as you can see, these two little, not little, but these two digital nomads are here uh, working out in the open uh, with a very nice view. Uh, and you can see all the cabins and the forest and whatever, right? So let's go ahead and interview these two digital nomads on how they feel about working uh, out here in the open. Okay, so I'm gonna do a fast interview. So, okay, so this is okay, no need to intro. Okay, so how do you feel about uh, being able to enjoy this fantastic view and being able to take out your laptop and work here out in the open with you know basically like yeah just having that freedom and also a wi-fi that's that's here how do you feel about that i feel that this is kind of surreal whereby okay, why? it's like we always see it on youtube and we see it like on tv does we, do people even use tv anymore but i do you do use tv okay yeah so it's like we only see people do it but we didn't even really try. Do what specifically? Do like like um work and travel that kind. Like okay. a digital moment. Which okay. is like working and travel anywhere and everywhere that they want to do it. So it only become clear to me that oh this is possible. How do you like it? How do I like it? Uh I like it in terms of like the weather. Like okay. it's just it just feels like aircon. Yeah. Feels like aircon. It's not so humid. Whereby it's impossible in Singapore because it's either A raining or B it's super hot that you just want to go into like, indoors to work. Yeah, people wouldn't want to go out to work. So, do you feel that the weather actually makes it more difficult for you to work, or it makes you like more upset, like in some way? Like, like do you feel that way in in Singapore, or you know, what what's your your feedback? Does does coldness in this current climate, you know, help coldness. you work better in any way? Uh, I guess the temperature helps because it's like it's so cooling and. And it's, it's, it, it doesn't um, make a person angry or anything. Because everyone is so chill over here. Yeah. So definitely the, the, the weather plays a part in, mm. um, in deciding whether to work outside. What else do you like about working kind of remotely over here in that sense? Uh, working remotely here in that kind of sense. I guess it's like uh, over here, I mean. Yeah, like, like right now. Yeah, right here, now. Yeah. I think... I think the most amazing thing is that there's Wi-Fi actually. It's like a very high speed Wi-Fi. Okay. So, therefore, uh, I guess it's a Wi-Fi. Also the view. Yeah, it's okay, like once you step out of the tent. Yeah. Yeah, and okay. you can get to see mountains and and it just makes it just put a smile on your face. Yeah, the first thing in the morning, you just put a smile on your face okay. and and just and and you just want to like run around like a kid again. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? But any other positive things about like being able to work here? Other, any other positive mm. things? Uh, there is quite a number of it. So one okay. of it is like the facilities over here is good. Whereby like there is like washing machines and dryers. Okay. So that means like I don't have to carry heavy. I can carry light and uh, bring extra clothes. So okay. because there will be a dryer and a mach washing machine and it will be easier. Right. Yeah, it's actually quite easy for me. So, in a way, though we are coming up on a mountain, but we can actually travel like, yeah, we don't have to bring a lot of things. We have a Tesla, so it's so convenient over here. Okay. Yeah. Right. And there's a lot of charges as well. So, that there's nothing to worry about. Okay. Except that I don't have a driver license, so I, I, I need to be reliant <laughs> on my driver friends. <laughs> so the ones that are currently driving her because she hasn't gotten her driving license and she's still taking her driving lessons at the moment. Uh, but okay, so thanks for sharing that. Okay, Again? let's let's talk a bit about the downsides, right? Uh, because obviously, uh, why not you interview like our dear friend over here? But, like, no, a few no, 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 we, we'll get to that. So we'll get uh, to that. yeah. So <laughs> let's talk about okay. Yeah, right, you you you've shared a lot of the the advantages, right? Of working remotely you say that okay you like the view uh -huh. okay you like that there's facilities here you like that you know there are superchargers here to charge your car okay fine so let's now talk a little bit about what's what are some of the limitations what are some of the downsides of working remotely 
and especially when you are 15 hours behind Singapore's time zone. How has that affected your life for the past couple of days? I think you have said it, which is like, uh, it's very different from Singapore in terms of the time. So definitely it's a time mm -hmm. zone. So we are trying really, really um, very hard to try to adapt to the Singapore time zone so mm -hmm. that we can meet up with our uh, colleagues in Singapore time zone, which is plus eight hours, right? Plus More eight. than that, I think. No, so we are behind by 15 hours. Oh, so right, 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 so right, in right. Canada, it's GMT minus 7. And then uh, in Singapore, it's GMT plus 8. Which means that it, there's a 15 hours difference. We're 15 hours behind Singapore, basically. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, aside from that, any other downsides? The downsides is, like, one of the downsides is that before I came here, I went to get this, I, get, I went to get two vaccines. Okay. And then the vaccine just ruined my body. And okay. I have this dry cough on my okay. throat for the last three weeks. Okay, that's terrible. Yeah, even till now, I'm still coughing. And I have to go to like some random drugstore to go and buy like a cough syrup. Because I forgot to bring... <laughs> I forgot to bring like um, my medication here. Mm. So I have to go and get that. But um, it's quite accessible. Like the store is like super huge in Canada. It's, it's, it's really like gigantic. And they have... They really have everything in there. Like a mini uh, over-the-counter. Like a Unity in Singapore. Whereby you can buy like... Uh, on the over the top over OTC um, med medicine is it called OTC? Over the counter. Okay, over the counter so medicine. for the audience's context, right? Okay, uh, I don't know because I don't know where you're viewing from, but basically Unity is a is a health supplement store slash pharmacy store in Singapore, uh, and that is basically like the equivalent of where you get like drug stores in Canada. Okay, so so let's continue. Okay, so uh, you mentioned that the supplies are easy to get. Okay, any other downsides? Uh, I mean, sorry, not supplies are easy to get, sorry. You mentioned that you got sick, you fell sick three weeks ago, right? But this is obviously a one-time thing because yeah. it sounds like uh, if you didn't take that vaccine, you may not even fall sick at all and you might not have, uh, you know, you, you might not be ha suffering from the symptoms they are suffering from right now. So, uh, yeah, that sounds more like a one-time thing. Uh, any other downsides working remotely? Uh, it's, it's definitely the tips. Yeah. <laughs> so you okay. know about the tips over here. And yeah, thankfully we have like Terry over here. And, and, and that's when I learned about a system of like 5%, 15%. And no, 10, 5, 10. 10% minimum. 10% minimum already. Yeah. Mm. So we didn't know about like the tip system over here. So on our first night uh, for our dinner, when we left without giving any tips, we thought that, yeah, we thought that we can just just wing it and just yeah not give any tips, which is a horrible thing to do over here. Yeah, it's like a death sentence that kind of. Would thing. you like to share the story that happened on the first day and also the story that happened earlier this morning? The, the story that happened earlier this morning. I think it's a very very long story. Maybe we can leave it to the next. Yeah, we we leave it to the next video. Or maybe yeah, you can also share it. Yeah, you can share person. it. So. To share, in order for us to share the shocking story of what just happened, right? What you need to do is you need to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Okay, it's all for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so make sure you do that, and then we will share in the next coming video as well. So speak to you guys soon.